Hello Retro Gamers, how are you doing? I've actually got a bit of a new segment today. I'm not one to usually do new segments, but since I'm actually making a video today anyway, because uh, FYI there may be a review out tomorrow, I thought I would share the absolutely amazing news that Shenmue 3 has just been announced E3 and put on Kickstarter. It has actually already beat its goal with 30 days to go. It's only launched yesterday. This is amazing. Do you know what Shenmue is? I hope you do. Shenmue is the amazing game that came out on the Dreamcast originally. And then there was a sequel also on the Xbox and the Dreamcast as well. Sadly, I don't have the Dreamcast copy. I wish I did. I do, however, have the original Shenmue in Japanese as well. Because why not? But it's just amazing. The first one got released in 1999. The second one got released in 2001. So it's been about 14 years. And for it to suddenly go on Kickstarter today, it's like all my Christmases have come at once. Well... Close enough, anyway. Anyway, I'll, I'll give you some information. I'll keep this short, because obviously I want to get to making my review. But currently, as I said, the Kickstarter was launched yesterday. Uh, had a, It was pledged at $2 million. Still got 30 days to go. As of filming, it has just over $2.8 million <laughs> that's already been funded. So basically, it's already a month to go of funding left. It's already reached its goal. It currently has over 36,000 backers. Um, and I will be one of those very soon. I'll take you through the uh, the pledges you can make. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll highlight which one I think is the best. The one that makes the most sense anyway for the layman like me and you and everyone else you know. Now, the first one's only a $5 one. Uh, this one is just called Shenmue Lives. And uh, you, uh, Suzu you, Suzuki, I've probably horribly mispronounced that. Surely it's just like Suzuki, like the car. I don't know. But you, Suzuki, you get his thanks and praises. Um, and you're also able to participate in surveys and vote in polls for the ideas you want to see in the game. So if you don't have much money, then five bucks, I mean, it's already reached its goal. Uh, honestly, I would go to the next step up, which is $29. And basically, that gives you a digital copy of the game. Now, keep in mind, at the moment, they've only, uh, they're only making versions for the computer and the PlayStation 4. So I'll definitely be going for a digital copy on the PlayStation 4. Personally, $29. And it also gives you the um, the ability to... Actually, it doesn't actually say. I presume it gives you the ability to be able to vote in polls and stuff, but I'm not actually to totally sure about that. Uh, the next one is $60. Basically the same thing, but it gives you the physical copy on PC. Now, if they had a physical copy on PS4, then I'd be right over that, because my PS4 collection is pretty lacking, really, when it comes to physical copies. Like, on my shelf up here, I guess you can't see that. No, you can't see that. But I have a lot of PS3 games and then just a couple of PS4 games squeezed in on the end there. Oh, and Drive Club, I just bought that today, because it was 19 bucks. I love driving games, what can I say? But anyway, physical copy on PS4, that would be amazing. But at the moment, you can only get a physical copy on PC when it is um, when it actually comes out. And that estimated delivery is December 2017. So it's still quite a while off, but it's amazing that this is being launched, this has been announced at all. Like, you know, come on guys, Shenmue 3. Um, I'll take you through a couple of the other pledges just while I'm here on the camera talking. Um, like for $120, you can get one of the toy capsules. Like, I should buy one. It actually actually says that. I should buy one in, in capitals because that's what Rio says with his fantastic, crappily done English dialogue in all the games. And that's one thing I was really happy about watching the video they put up. They had some gameplay, not very much, just a cutscene, but you could tell that the, the, just the really crappy voice acting was still gonna be present in the game. And that honestly makes me very happy. Like, it would be like, Rio, can you jump? And he'd be like, yes. Rio, over this way. Okay. <laughs> like, I probably sound really bad saying it, but it honestly is really that bad. If they have Japanese sub, if, if you can just play with Japanese with English subs, then I'll probably go the, that way, but the the voiceovers for them are just, they're just ridiculous. I think they're actually, they know they're ridiculous and I think they're playing that because people will be expecting it, along with the awesome adventure and Kung Fu gameplay that's going to be involved. It probably isn't even Kung Fu, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But of course there's um, a couple of higher pledges you can buy as well. Like $10,000. Uh, this one's actually already gone. It's Rio's original jacket, which uh, one of the uh, Masaya Matsuzaki... I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I'm really bad at pronouncing Japanese 
uh, words, uh, but some guy, he, he wore the, at all the original Shenmue press events 14 years ago, he wore this jacket. That was $10,000, but that's actually already been sold. Um, there's another three pledges for $10,000, which of course are already are, already gone. We get dinner with you, Suzaki, um, Suzuki, um, and Shenmue script set uh, for $10,000. So, I mean, that's, I mean, they're already gone. So if you wanted those, too bad, I guess, but $29, that's the one I am, that's the one I'm considering. Oh, that's the one I'm going to buy. See, look at me, I'm, I'm giddy. I can't even explain to you how excited I am. I'm just, this is, this is the most amazing thing that's happened this month to me. I, have, I live a very sad life, but my God. Uh, there's a few other things I just want to mention before I go. Um, I will link to the Kickstarter in the description, of course, but I'm sure you could easily find it. Um, but there's also some stretch goals as well. And I'm going to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find those listed. Okay, so basically, uh, if you don't know what a stretch goal is, uh, it's basically extra money that they can get will just go towards different things. So since they've already beaten their goal of $2 million, they're already doing stretch goals, which is amazing. Since this Kickstarter was literally launched yesterday. Um, so there's a couple that have already been reached. Um, the first one says Shenmue 1 and 2 Cinema Shorts. So I'm guessing that's probably uh, just a video explaining all the all the storyline in the original games. Like in my Shenmue 2, the copy I have on Xbox, it actually comes with a DVD. It's Shenmue the movie along with the actual game, where it basically just has all the cutscenes from the original game. So I'm guessing it's going to be very much like that. And then all the other stretch goals after that are just in different languages. So there's uh, Dutch, French, Spanish. Um, they haven't quite reached Italian yet, but that's at 2.9 million, so they're very close to that. Um, and then after at 3.2 million, they're going to have a report system. Don't know what that means because they don't really have much information about it. Uh, 3.5 million, they're going to have a skill tree system, so that should be pretty cool. And at $4 million, which they'll no doubtly get to within the next 30 days, it says uh, Baisha Village expanded mini games times five. So basically, an extra gaming area and more mini games because Shenmue. Very much like the Yakuza series, very much known for their mini games. Like I remember in Shenmue, you can play um, play Space Harrier. You go into the arcade and you actually play like the emulated version of Space Harrier. And there was another game as well. I can't quite remember what it was. Some bike game. It'll probably come to me as soon as I stop filming. But yeah. Anyway, that's the video. This is somehow gone for eight minutes. Uh, my apologies. But I just that's just how excited I am. This is going to be amazing. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for my review. Otherwise. Keep being cool.